Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. We're going to be drawing Luffy and Ace as kids together. This is a Patreon requested tutorial from Herb on Patreon. So, let's go. Landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser for these and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand, etc. So, the two boys. Where's my image gone? Oh yeah, there's. So, the two boys, smiling, holding sticks, kids. And we'll start with Ace over here. We'll start with his eye. So pretty simple eyes in one piece. We're just gonna go curve a line across here. And then we will curve underneath. Like so. His pupil just black. And his iris just black. So he's no separation between iris and pupil. That's what I mean. And we come over and do the other eye. So, kind of, he's, we've got a kind of a head tilt. So we're not like perfectly, you know, right across. We're sort of a little bit lower down. So we're like down here because his head is kind of tilted this way. So we're not perfectly straight. And you're about eye distance across. Like it's maybe a little bit smaller than eye distance. Is it? No, it's about eye distance across. So you could fit his eye in between here yeah just about it's pretty tight but because they're quite big eyes and then his bottom eyelid curves around here and then his iris and pupil just here So then in between here we have his nose, so we'll just do a sort of a curved line, left of center, just there. And then another one going down this way. And then a nostril, just kind of there. His eyebrows just sort of ticks going up this way. And his eyebrow on the other side, sort of a similar sort of thing. Just a tick going back that way. Right, so then his mouth. So we've got like a big smiling curved line, right? So smiling from kind of ear to ear sort of thing. So it like starts here and goes the whole way over. Right, like a closed mouth, but then we gotta open it up. So we'll bring it, curve it down, curve it down on this side. And then we'll bring it down, close it off. So curve it down underneath. And back up into there. So teeth inside. So real big teeth in one piece, right? So you could do like the exaggerated sort of just lines or we could do it the way it's in the picture. I think I'll just do it the way it's in the picture. So we curve a line down here around his gum line, like so. Down to there. And then we can see his teeth where they join together just in the side. Just these little arrows sort of pointing in. And then his teeth line comes across, right? So we curve a line across here. And then you could add like some lines going up just for teeth, maybe some coming down. Like so. Now if you want, you can color, so these are shadows, so we can color them black or dark red, but I'll do black just so we can see right now that it's a, the side of his mouth shadow. And then I think we can see some gum line on the bottom, so like some little bumps and things for his teeth. Just here. Kind of stuff like that. Okay, so... Right, we'll do his jaw, right? It comes down, it's a, it's a real round sort of thing. So it like comes down the side of his face here. 
round underneath his chin. They're real round, sort of childlike faces, so because they're children. And then this comes up like that on that side. And then his hair, so we got like just hair spikes, sideburns here. And his ears will come out from the sideburns. So just coming out from sideburn like so. And his ears kind of in line with just his nose, top of his ears. So coming down here. Yeah. So this sideburn should be lower. Oops. Yeah, so this sideburn should actually be here. That could be another hair spike anyway. So just to keep the ears in line on the horizontal, I just had to lower this. It's because we're head, the head is tilted. I forgot about that. And then we can add some bones and ligament lines. Easiest way is always letter J. And if you want, you can make it a bit more complicated, but you don't have to make it too much more complicated than that. Just letter sort of J. And some extra lines inside there. So then, rest of his hair. So, spiking down for a fringe, coming down around his face. This one will sort of come over his eye. Up around. All right, so we do something similar over here. So, we'll do like a hair spike coming out here and up. And then bring it in to there. Down like so. Then we're bringing it up and around for his fringe. So we'll go like this. And then we have so a V sort of in the middle here. And then we have a couple of like fringy spikes. Like so. And then the rest of his hair comes around. It's kind of long-ish sort of hair. We have his neck here. I'll do his neck first, just because some of the hair might come out from behind it. So, hair spike here, hair spike here. Short hair spikes. There. And then long ones. Yeah, and then it'll go all the way around the top of his head. Maybe a couple sticking up in the middle. And then we'll bring him down. So that's pretty much Ace's hair. So he's got he's got um, a cut on his forehead, like a bandage on his forehead, and he's got like this tape that's like keeping on the bandage. So we just draw the tape first. It's like this sort of bendy rectangle, like that, and it's done like a crisscross. So we have another one here. And then this comes down here. Like a bandage just there. And then it has like lots of scratch marks and things on his head.
Right, so we'll finish this body and then we'll move over to Luffy. So, straps. He's got like a sort of vest top on. And that comes down the front of his body here. And then the front part of his shirt comes around the collar. Up around his shoulder here. And then bumps around this way. And then we have this stick that's coming out of his hand, right? So it goes diagonal and this can be a bumpy line because it's a wooden stick so you don't have to use a ruler or anything right, and it kind of goes into his hand up here somewhere so here right this is the start of his fingers and we've got four knuckles so we'll just do four and they're round four bumps like that and then this comes down into here. And then each of these is a finger. So we'll just draw a curve a line down this way. And then we could have a knuckle in here, just on each one. And then the arm will come down like this, sort of bending out for the forearm. And his wrist comes out the other side. And the forearm will come down around. He's got like an elbow pad on or something down here. It comes down. To, that just goes off the bottom of my page. But a few more room, you could finish that off. And he gives like a forearm line and some fold lines for his wrist. And that means the rest of that stick then will go up off the page that way. And his thumb curving around behind his knuckles here. Thumbs like that always remind me of like a kidney bean shape, you know, like bean shape or like a peanut. <laughs> you know, the peanuts in the shells, that's what they always remind me of. Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. And then this curves around like so. And then we just join his arm up to his shoulder. So coming out from behind into there. And then this comes down like so. And his body, we'll put his body, that looks, that looks okay, here. And I think we can see a line just underneath for his clothing, or his armpit or something. Right there, like some fold lines and stuff. Again, scratch marks, fold lines, as much of that as you'd like. So, and then his other shoulder. So, bring it out this way. And it just goes down and off the page, I think. So we've got like a little bump for his shoulder there. And then the forearm will just go like off this way. And the underside of it maybe. Just go there and some scratches. Okay, so let's see about Luffy. So Luffy, same sort of thing. He's smaller, right? Arm up in the air. His, his eyes are closed, so I guess we'll start with the closed eyes. So like, yeah, just sort of eyelash closed eyes, right? So you can make these as simple as you want or as complicated as you want. So like that's like the easiest way to do closed eyes. But because he's got eyelashes and things, we can thicken it up and add some folds, you know, just to make him look a bit more like they're real eyes. Just add some folds and things. And then this goes back and some spikes and things coming off just to show that we got some eyelashes going on. Right, like that. And they're about eye width apart. So the width of his eye 
with fit in between. And then his nose, so his nose is right in between, so it like goes up and down. Just a simple sort of nose like that. Could have a nostril or something there. And then his scar underneath his eye on his cheek there. And then his eyebrows. So he's got just these tick like sort of eyebrows again. And the other one sort of goes up this way somewhere. I think this one goes underneath um, a sort of band aid he has on his forehead as well. So. Right, big smiling mouth, like Ace. So it's going to go right close to his eyes there, underneath. And then we'll, we'll curve it down. Up to there. Then teeth, so different, so sort of his teeth are like close together, like touching one another. Luffy's mouth is open, you can see his tongue, right? So the teeth along the top come down like so. But we can see his gum line up here, so. With the tops of his teeth. And then his bottom teeth just sort of curve line comes across there and then his tongue another big sort of curve line up and down like that and you might see some like teeth lines or something there on the edge right so then he's, he's got that round sort of u-shaped chin like Ace, so comes around. And goes up the other side. Like so. And then we'll do sideburns, so they're they're very low down now as well, like ace. So we got like them down all the way down here. It's because his head is tilted back. So And then bones and ligaments on the inside. Like so. The easiest way, letter J. And then you can add more if you want. All right, so then the rest of his hair, fringe lines comes around his face. the other side and then we have some hair spikes here and this will come around for the hat section but we'll do the other side first and join them up all right so this just kind of curves around because he's wearing that straw hat on his head so it like curves around here And then the straw hat, but we got to draw his body and his arm first because the hat is behind his arm. So his neck and his shoulders. So we got neck coming out here, real small, a little bit longer on this side. And then his t-shirt comes around here. And we got like a strap on his shirt and his shoulder comes down and his shoulder comes down that way. And this is like a texture line and stuff around. 
one line there, and then the arm comes up here. So we go like an armpit line, and then we go up this way. So relatively long, sort of skinny arm. And the other side of the shoulder. Look like so. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Right, so he's, he's holding a stick up there as well. So we can see sort of four knuckles up here somewhere. So we'll go, we'll actually go a little bit longer. Up to there, past this, so. And then we have four knuckles. One, two, three, four. And then this comes up and around. Two, three, four, down to there. And this comes around, up to there. And then we have the thumb underneath, kind of that sort of bean-like shape again. And then thumbnail. There and then the rest of his arm goes up that way, like the palm of his hand line just sort of there, and then like scratch marks and things on his arm. And then the stick coming out of his hand this way, diagonally, and it can be a wavy, sort of bumpy line. So then the straw hat, right? So bumping out, it can be a bumpy line coming around his head here. Real big on his head now. And then it comes down here, just around the other side of his arm and it comes in behind his ear somewhere down here. So, and then this can have an extra sort of edge line, a rim line. Coming around like so. And then the top of his head, the hat part comes up. Around and down to there. And then he has a red strap along it there. And I, I suppose you could add like, you know, the straw hat lines, texture lines. And some coming down here. Just to make it look like it's a bit of basket weaving sort of thing, straw woven together. But finally, I think that's everything. Hope it was helpful, Herb. Oh no, not everything. Band-Aid on his forehead. Nearly forgot. Like so. Right, and then like a couple of scratch marks. Okay, now that's everything. So, the hope was helpful, Herb. Thanks for the request. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.